on your things too. Thank you, one. thank you. You know my pop season Xbox <laughs> or not, sorry not it's in other jeans. Uh, I think I need to I need to adjust myself so that I don't fall out of line because I don't want my to <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you, bro. I've got you. 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 i have got you i have out of me for a little bit so yeah um obviously frankie boy jones ain't here yet black man timing and all of that but he'll kick into it when he's ready um so we are just gonna get in straight straight into it with auntie ronka saying and the saying of this week is body nobby firewood obviously that's something i used to say when i was younger but not something i used to say actually a lot of people used to say it to me um because i used to work mad like i was always working especially when i was pregnant i do like three jobs at the same time um but nowadays i say it for the opposite um as an entrepreneur especially i feel like a lot of people do run themselves into the ground and it's one of my recent social media postings about it where you have to work smart rather than work hard but there is an element of working hard but not to the point where you're killing yourselves because your physical well-being has to be there as well so yeah um but it'll be firewood you know just take time take time because at the end of the day if you're killing yourself to get them riches no one ain't going to be here to chase that dream for you if you're six foot under or if you're laid up in bed with covid you know or you're burnt out you know <laughs> so we've got to take time we've got to take time um and following that we've obviously got the the youth business plugs of the week um celebrating two or young people is it two one young people um yeah one young person um in lee of valentine is coming <laughs> where's your boyfriend <laughs> you are to that low come on lonely <laughs> i'm not going to be lonely i'm going to be nursing a seafood boil bag yeah okay so that's the love of my life yeah yes. it's all good but i have a husband so i'm fine <laughs> gonna be doing that nasty nasty <laughs> there's too many of my family members on this we won't have discussed that one day <laughs> but i am a married woman so it does actually matter <laughs> i am allowed no i'm going to promote a kyla's sweet heart and she's got some valentine specials going on she's got the hearts oh, mate her page is just full of sweets so follow her it is a k i y l a h we're S- actually going to underscore sweetheart don't worry, I didn't Send catch that. If you look caught that, you're good because I didn't catch that. But I'm gonna tag it in the page after the show. Uh-huh. Um, so all of you go and follow her. She's how old? Thirteen years old. Thirteen years old, making sweet bags, support the cause. You know, it's great to see young children doing amazing things and actually being productive in such a crazy time that yeah. we're in today. So all of you show your love and support a young black business. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Obviously, this is part two of Culture versus Western. <laughs> you know, who got them licked part two? So for those of you who wasn't around for the first show, um, the first show was based on who got them beats. And obviously it was bands. For all of you who tuned in, it was straight bands. But um, yeah, <laughs> we're following off on that. And we were just talking about pretty much like corporal punishment in the African household. Who got them licked and what parents took it a little bit too far. And how those beats of back then have affected us today um and yeah we just felt like it needed a part two because we left on such a high and we just about scratched the surface yeah. just yeah. scratched the surface who knows we might even need a part three shit boy <laughs> after all these busy people boy let's see how we go isn't it? <laughs> but yeah um where, where did we finish off last time guys do you remember well it's been a while but i'd like to say something go right. on I told my mom about the show. <laughs> Did, you get some lips? Did you get lit? Did you get lit? You know what? You know what? Everyody just turns around and looks at you. Listen, I said, she said, when did that beat you? <gasps> Oh, they they like, never have what? that memory, you know. They don't have that memory. They don't have that She's memory. She's like, you're lying on the air. <laughs> Are you serious? They would never yeah. admit it. They never. Never. But do you know what? I actually never. thought they genuinely don't remember. Does anybody know that woman called Inyanla? Um, she's like a, a therapist black for fam- black families. Oh, the lady based in America? Yeah, she's yeah. based in America. Yeah. And... Um, so what she did... So what she did, she has... like She pretty much just talks to families. And she try and you know repairs 
broken situations between parents and children. So I remember seeing one clip of hers and she was talking to a mother and son and the boy was basically saying that his first memory of a bad relationship with his mum was when she chose her boyfriend over him. And she was like, when did that happen? But for a eight year old, that was very traumatic for mm, him to mm. remember. But for her, it was just a throwaway mm. issue. Like it was a throwaway comment. And I think a lot of parents don't take accountability for the damage that they cause in their children's lives, especially in today's time. Mm. Like growing up um, in our generation anyway, Sorry, Mel was just like giving me my phone in the middle of the show. Like, girl, what is wrong with you? Sorry, guys. Anyone who knows me knows I don't really do well with technology. Oh, you're so at slow. All, at all. I really don't. I'm not going to see Okay, so can you put it back, please? Jeez. So, as I was saying, so rude. Um, she just made me really lose my train of thought. Like, I hate you. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a lot of parents don't take accountability for the drama that they've caused their children today and i feel like a lot of us in today's generation does carry that on into meeting people today our relationships our communications with people and how we take accountability for our own wrongdoings so guys i'm going to pass that on to you and ask you as men have you dealt with any kind of like situations where in your own relationships you see kind of like your past reiterating itself ah that's it that's a powerful question. My brother, I will let you go because yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to brother, keep on yeah, yeah. something. You're not the only one. So can you um, ask the question again, please, so I can get some clarity on what you're asking. So, okay, let's take it like this. All right, so you're dating someone and how you communicate kind of rem- reminds you of how you used to communicate with your mum. Okay. You know, the clash or the arguments or somebody not trying to make somebody understand do you know what I mean? Or that kind of forcefulness in a relationship, but just mm. things that kind of rem- remind you of your childhood. Mm. Well, for me, the only issue I have, well, should I say in relationship, is if someone don't have the ability to listen, you know what I mean? Mm. You know, and obviously that can be relatable to, obviously, our parents, when we want to talk, they never want to listen, you understand? Or it's like, they are listening, but it goes through one ear, comes out the other. So that's the only relatability I could actually link the two. Well, wow, if that makes sense. No, I just wanted to, my brother, I think I, I agree yeah. with you, my brother. Is that whole wanting to be hard? Yeah. You keep quiet, let me talk, yeah, sort of yeah, thing. You understand, you, understand? you understand? So it's like nobody is really trying to to back down. Exactly. Or somebody have to back down yeah, in order for the to point to be a come across. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You're, you're in tune, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Y'all are probably wondering why I'm laughing. So why have I gone live on my personal Instagram and not the radio show's Instagram? (laughs) (laughs) And don't you are live one way or another. (laughs) Yeah, but I'm live on the wrong show. So that's really annoying. So I'm going to like leave you to do what I sort out the tech issues back end. (laughs) So yeah, that's right. My experience. I think for me, (laughs) the same. Yeah. They don't listen. That oh, was it me. I didn't do anything. It can never be me. It's, no one takes ownership and accountability for what has happened and how it's affected you. Because you know? they will. I, I can see going to my dad and he would just say, "Me, a whole me, now me, no, not to me. I, I could never. I could never." And I feel like it's so funny because it just comes to the question that um, one stuff I read somewhere where they would he the, asked the question, "Oh, do you think you could have you know?" relationships through like positive relationships looking at what you've had growing up sort mm. of thing and i was just like a lot of answers were very like nope 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 and i feel like a lot of things that we've seen and how we've brought up it, it questions how are we going to how are we going to deal with our own children because of how how we were dealt with so the punishments that we had would you do it to your kids <laughs> would you beat them would you um, tell them to pump would you do that all of that would you I mean, it's a good question you are asking, and the truth of the matter is, uh, first of all, mm-hmm. in terms of having good relationship, like you mentioned a few moments ago, in my opinion, it comes down to uh, two things. You will be able to have uh, good relationships or strong relationships if you are, number one, strong-minded, mm-hmm. yeah. and if, number two, you are not necessarily strong-minded, but you have gone through serious amount of therapy. Yeah. Because... Those are the two things, in my own opinion, that, you know, could sort of put you in a good position in future mm-hmm. to have a good relationship. Especially if the childhood 
has been a, a traumatic one or yeah. one that has not been filled with many many good and positive experiences yeah you know and uh, for your second point in regards to with uh, something about uh, will you pass down what has happened? Will you be your children? You see, you... Of course. You see the wow. two. The, 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 <laughs> brother, you see, wow. Are we? Are we? Are we? Of course. Do you know what? Of course. My brother was ready to say yes. Of course. What are we talking about? <laughs> Not because you see, yeah, uh, we have to look at different dynamics, yeah. Of okay, cool. We got beaten and there's abuse. You understand? But with me, certain things my mom did help me be disciplined for my outside life if that makes sense mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you understand so of course you know you beat your you beat your child for a reason you know you let them know one beat or why, why you smacking them not the beat that you know what we've received you know, when I, <laughs> I have a certain endurance because of certain See, I just want to say certain beneficiary <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 that's yeah. cool that opened oh my goodness like, my, yeah like, my dad just always like and I thought I just feel in kind of like in hindsight in, after all the years coming forward listening to what my dad has said I feel like my dad got through to me better than my mum did do you know what I mean like I feared my mum but I I respect my dad like I fear him innit because yeah. he taught me how to think you know my mum just beat the shit out of me and while she's beating me don't you ever do that again but there's no real there's no real counts there's no, no guidance no in that. Yeah, there's no, no real yeah, but i feel no like I, I think i feel like parents would have beat you or beat us and sort of not then explain why they've done it yeah absolutely like why have you like for me i remember one time my dad whooped whoo, he whooped me yeah i will never forget that and i was playing knockdown ginger uh-uh. <laughs> oh, you deserved it. wow yeah, you're knocking on people's doors yeah, like, I'm bored, <laughs> I? I can't splash now guys and he wo- and I remember he whooped me, yeah. Now from that, I remember I've kind of as an older age, I've, on reflection, I was like, mm, though he hit me, that was out of fear, that was out of scared. The boy got a stick and hit me around the head by my temple. Imagine something could happen to me. Then what? Then what? My temple, I could have been finished. So though he was doing it through anger and <laughs> mm. on reflection. I understand. There's a lot of stuff I reflect, but through, I'll be real, once 100, that was through therapy. I went through therapy. I had to have therapy. I did I did a counselling course, and when you're doing counselling, you get counselled yourself. And a lot of, I discovered a lot of anger issues and triggers and things like that mm. was from my childhood. Mm. There was a lot of things from my childhood. And my triggers were 100% when my dad, and I've had this conversation Obviously, some parents still get it, some don't get it because it's still a taboo. But our age mates, our people below, when we're telling them we have to go because whether we want to admit it or not, our childhood can affect our future and how we have brought up and it can affect relationships indirectly and you won't even know that it's affecting Mm. relationships, Mm -hmm. you know, the trust issue, the understanding, you know, you have to have all of those. Otherwise, how's the relationship going to work? You have spoken. Mel spoke the truth. Prince Charles is the prime priest. minister. One day, come on, yeah. Miss yeah. Mel's for prime minister. So much, so much power. In Listen, you, it, you know what? Speaking, you have to speak from experience. When you say certain things, you certain people like I work with kids in it, and some of these kids, when you're telling them, I'm not telling this because I want to tell you off. I'm telling you this because I don't want you to go through what I went through. I'm telling you this because I don't want you to end up how other people have ended up. I'm telling you this to save you so you don't. You don't have to. It's it's funny you say that because the in my experience, like what I've kind of taken from my experiences growing up and friends and family experience, uh, like we we've all got common like common grounds in terms of discipline and how we grew in it. But from taking little bits from everyone's kind of experience, what I, like again, kind of going back to what Ada was saying and what my dad has always kind of preached is that well. Each individual desire like deserves or it's necessary. Give each individual their own time in it, their own understanding. Do you know? So, but I feel that to avoid smacking and things like that, you have to get into the person's head. You have to understand them. And a lot of our parents didn't understand us. Mm. That was the difference. Do you know what I mean? So, like my son, he's just as naughty as I am, as I was. 
He's a what naughty was, boy. Look at his face. What was that? What was that? <laughs> was, he was, he was, he was, he was Rectify, as rectify as that. Was. Rectify yeah. that. As he is. But rectify as, that. As I was. But I realised that for him, it's about getting him to think. Mm. And it's about the character. Building his character as opposed 100, to yeah. punishing him and disciplining him and teaching yeah. him a lesson. Sometimes, like, do you know what? Funny enough, yeah, I don't know if anyone will kind of, if this resonates with anyone, but my wife and kids, mm-hmm. yeah, that show, I love Michael Carl as a father. Do you know, he wasn't a Bill Cosby mm. and he wasn't, what was the other, the TV dad? Um, there's another TV dad. Ray from Moesha? I don't know, Ray just came to my head. I think so. I think so. No, Ray no. was good though. Ray was good. Ray was good. He was very like, he would talk to you. He wasn't he, the... He was a pushover, man. Yes. Yeah, the gandam had him on his toes, man. But I mean, my wife and okay, kids... Michael, Michael Carl. Michael Carl for my wife and kids. <laughs> yeah. The way he disciplines his kids, for me, is awesome because there's an element of playfulness. Mm. However, there's a very strong lesson in each teaching. Yeah. In each, um, in each um, thing. And he also gives that child a chance to learn mm. the lesson. As opposed to, don't do that. If you do it, do it, or I'm not telling you this because I hate you. I'm, not, I'm telling you this because I don't want you to go. Sometimes they don't. They have to go through it. Yeah. So sometimes it's about creating the lesson for them to learn, mm. as opposed to telling them from your experience. Yeah. So now like, even with like when I'm talking to certain youths, like I've done a few mentoring things, yeah. Yeah. and I'm talking to the man them, and I'm saying to them, look. I get what you're on. Like, it's not that I haven't been there. I even can still relate to some of you now. Like, I get it. But I'm not going to tell you don't do it. I'm going to say, if you're going to do your thing, be on job. Yeah. Be smart. Yeah. Know why you're doing it. Know what you've got to lose. Do you know what I mean? Know what you stand to lose from it. Know what you stand to gain. Know who it affects. You know, because sometimes we don't see the effects of what we're doing on other people. So mm. when we were going out and knocking down Jinja on people's doors and <laughs> getting expelled 27 million times and all of that, we don't know the, the pain, the frustration is causing that we don't acknowledge it. Not that we don't know it, we don't acknowledge it. The pain and frustration it causes them now. Being a parent now, I get frustrated with my boy because it's like, mm. you know better. You know better. And your, your natural instinct is to slap the shit out of him. But you have to hold it, you know what? Okay, that didn't work with me. When they slapped me, I still went out the next day. And, this is the thing, understand? there was no teaching so, from it. Yeah. yeah. But the one time I told you, I think on the last episode, I told you my dad beat me and the beating was so severe. I went to sleep. I think I passed out. I don't even know if I went to sleep. <laughs> I, I think I just hit the bed and just. <laughs> next Love minute, my lights I told you, yeah, my mom came in. See you alive. Yeah. See you alive. Then my dad came. Come here, boy. All right. Wipe my face. I started shaking again. He's like, cool down. Be cool. <laughs> cool down. Be cool. Yeah, be cool. <laughs> Your dad sounds cool. Yeah, right? I'm saying. My dad's an uh, awesome guy, man. But he's like, yeah, just relax, man. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, daddy. He said, like, listen, do you know why you got what you got? I was just like, <laughs> he said, then he went through explaining it. Listen, you had a responsibility, your little sister. Mm. you messed up that responsibility that responsibility don't just affect you it put your sister at risk you have that responsibility for a reason mm. if you don't cool something happens to your sister your mum gonna go ballistic me I'll be, you understand but it affects so many other people other than just the fact that you didn't do like what, you do needed your, to what do. you're supposed to do you know and I was like yeah, yeah, yeah and again further down the line in time he came back to kind of revisit that sort of issue and he was like look your sister's your responsibility she's your younger sister she's a female you're a man you're a boy child you're the head you understand so you need to handle your responsibilities do you know what i mean and essentially that sort of teaching resonated through my life and i became weirdly enough with all my mischievousness <laughs> I became quite a responsible figure amongst my yeah, friends yeah. Mm. so I'd be the one that people come Frank man this one's drunk who's going to drive his car oh, fuck it. it's annoying like, isn't it you understand oh Frank he's, he's having beef over there yeah. like, so I'll come and exactly. quiet it down yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you understand so that teaching from that one beating 
Like, Travelled. You're perfect. You understand? It set me for for a long period of my time. For a long period of time. Everybody has their own method. You said yeah. it yourself, yeah. my brother. I don't know whether you remember, but yeah. you said it that everybody has their own yeah. their own way, and it's very important for the 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 mom and the dad. You know, those that are having the mom and the dad with them to show what they have within them because you can only give what you have yeah you know upbringing of mommy is different to upbringing of daddy and you experiment it that way there you know the child is getting to know okay this is how mommy operates mm-hmm. this is how daddy operates but in those experiences the child will even be deciding because what happens is if your mom is disciplining you and your father is disciplining you uh-huh, they your mom up. they will now over time, they will now think, okay, you know what? If I get in trouble <laughs> in the future, I yeah. think, I actually think I want to let my dad be the one who finds out. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I like the way he handles it. I know what he's going to do. He's going to talk to me. I'm going to have a chance to talk. Yeah. My mom is just going to look for the latest wood <laughs> that is available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they will figure but it out. But you know what? i got a question. Why is he always... I know some dad the B, mm-hmm. yeah, but predominantly it's always the mother. I wanted to say that. And you know, can I tell you a funny thing? Is you yeah? are right. My opinion. dad, yeah, has never ever laid a hand on me. <laughs> He's never. You know, my but dad. You fear him, right? Of course. There you go. Like my dad. It's the like, fear of the unknown. When 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 he wants when you know my dad is. You know, ticked off. Hey, your dad's a hard I know about them hard ends, but he's it. I hey. owe me. Hey, Ooh, ah, yo, that the <laughs> voice alone, yeah. And you call me three times. I hey. owe me. One. How many times did I call How you? How many times did I call you? <laughs> no, it's just the the authority. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. And then he, but what he always does is he hears me. You know, he will sit me down, and then he will tell me my mess up, <laughs> and then he will tell me how to rectify it mm. and how to think next time. Yeah, you understand? And then if he's really ticked off, you tell me he's really ticked off. Don't talk to him. Mm. But he never lays off. You take a lot of me, life lessons and. Let me ask you something, right now. Okay, you're saying that your dad's never used to really discipline you, but you've got mad respect for your fathers, right? Not discipline. Not, not didn't smack. He didn't smack. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like corporal punishment. Yep. There's no corporal <laughs> punishment where your fathers were concerned. Now it was usually from the mothers. So how did that did that affect um, impact how you saw women? in your dating life or the respect that you had for women or your communication with women going forward? I mean, for Why me, are you all looking at each other? Why are you 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 looking at We're going to go me, from I'm left to right. I don't, I don't date. I'm a man of God. Yeah, so where did your son come from? Um, immaculate Conception. <laughs> They dropped him off one of the stalks. <laughs> that looks so serious Top saying that, ago, so. You know, so. Okay, so oh, Frank, yeah. how does that affect your, your, you know? You know what, weird enough, I actually had a similar conversation the other day and I, how I related it to me and my relationships is that it's mad because you say, oh, you date the opposite of what you know, innit? Kind mm, of. Yeah. But then, I swear that's, that's not, not the reality. True. I swear no. that's not the reality though. And that's not the reality because why I say that is my mum, my sister, a lot of close women to me have that strong kind of that dexterity, mm. that, that uh, you know. That gra- so gra- my mum and my sister, very they're the more they, in this world, those two women there, I don't know any woman that can chat to them. Do you get me? My sister's a kickboxer, my mum's on job, she's raised bare people's kids in the end, she's brought them from Nigeria, she's, you understand? Cool. What I found is, as time, as life went on, and I started taking into account the type of women I was dating, or even chatting to, they're all like, that bracket, that That strong, bossy, aggressive, you know, but, nagging, kind of, always, Francis, 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 Frank, Frank. Do you get me? But what I said was, what, how I how I broke that down in terms of why does that happen? It's basically subconsciously you know how to deal with that. Mm. So your natural instinct is to go with what you know how to deal with. Someone comes along and treats you all nice and lovey dovey and hugging you and that. It's like what are you doing? Like women don't normally act like this. Mm, yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. So it kind of repels you, so you kind of step away from it. But if she was mouthy and you know you're used to dealing with that, so it's like, oh, don't worry, she'll cool down. Or I'll check her, I'll grab her, I'll 
give her something and she will understand what time it is and she's blessed. So because you're used to dealing with that, although in your like as a man like you think oh, this is jarring every day, every day, every day. When you realize first woman, second woman, third woman, fourth woman, fifth woman, ah, kilo day, what's going on? Why are all these women? Why is it always my women that give me a headache? That just then you look, ah, but my mum's like that. Even my like that. But ah, I don't. Then you realize it's a comfort zone. It's because I know how to deal with those type of women. Mm, yeah. Do you get me? So when I when. I get the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Madam, if you don't grow some back, you understand? See, like, then I feel like that's the problem that's also. So like strange. Because when you get something good, because we don't know how to nurture that, we automatically step away from that. So we're doing ourselves yeah. more damage by going towards the things that wasn't good for us growing up. And because we'd never had that kind of like learning after the fact, we just, you know, we have to get to that place yeah. one day in life where we're just like, oh, like you said, you check one woman, two women, three women, why me? Mm. And then you start to like educate yourself like, okay, no, nah, I'm going back to what I'm used to. So it's a time for change, you know what I'm saying? It's very interesting for me to hear a guy say that. I've never heard a, a guy say that. I haven't. I've never I heard haven't. it. Because that's what females yeah, say. That's what females that's say. What females that's say. What, uh, but what I'm saying now is that. But what I'm saying is, this is what I'm saying because, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us, sometimes we do some acting, sometimes, sometimes we, we, go, we go into character. So if you see anything, you know, we are rehearsing for something. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I wanted to say, what I wanted to say very quickly was that uh, you are asking, how do we get to a stage where we, sort, we start to deal with this trauma? Mm. The truth of the matter is, not everybody will get to that stage. Yeah. Reason being, mm. reason being, be- before you, before you address anything, you need to accept that something is going on yeah. with you. you need to identify it. You need to identify yeah. it. Mm. Okay, something is going on. He's like, okay, my leg is paining me. I need to take something for it. No, or my leg is paining me, but I'm ignore it. Mm. You understand? Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing anything about it. You need to accept that. You know what? I think something is up. Really and truly, this cannot be the way of life. This cannot be it. So, mm. first of all, you need to accept that, okay, and there's some work I need to do. And number mm. two, you need to want that help. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You, need to, you need to want that help. And if those two are not going hand in hand, unfortunately, mm. nothing changes. Yeah. You need to be fed up and you need to identify it before you... Yeah. It's not magic. That's true. It's not magic. That's true. Somebody said to me once that you need to forgive your dad in order to be happy in your relationships. It's the real though. You think I could start? I could you know what's mad though? I'm ladies, at peace with it though. I'm at peace with it. I, I just, I just don't fuck with him. Like, yeah, but ladies, man, you know? see, this is like. Sorry, I, I, I want you me to say his experiences as well because obviously, as men, mm. this is where we relate. <gasps> right? So we see. Okay, cool. Me and Ada, we kind of got an understanding. I want to hear your music as well. But yeah. what I will say is, just to the ladies very quickly, is a lot of you guys' problems are self-inflicted. Excuse you? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, see that, it's that generalization as well. Like. I'll pause. I'll, I'll repeat what I said. I'm ready to I'm challenge, carry on. With chest. Woo! Come on, let's a go. Lot of, mm-hmm. A lot of your issues are self-inflicted. Mm-hmm. Now, for example, part of Auntie Ronke's <laughs> issues with men is that she really hasn't got over the issues with her stepdad. She can identify them because she said it here before us, mm-hmm. you know, so she can identify them. But is she ready to address them and deal with them? That's a different conversation. Mm-hmm. Now, she said, she's given us an example where she met a guy, the guy was wet, she dashed him, I believe. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's a good guy. He's a good man. He threw him away, threw him in the bin. Mm-hmm. Now, you meet guy. another guy, he will treat you like shit, you say all men are trash. <laughs> you understand? Again, no self infli- self inflicted. No Remember, balance. the guy that was red D, the guy that was red D to carry you as a queen, put you on a pedal stool, treat you, and like, like endow you, shower you. With this gifts. clever, the, it was more than that. <laughs> you know, but, 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 don't start changing. <laughs> 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 so, like, but, but like we're saying, but like we're saying, you, 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 you track back. Where the issues are, yeah, you're causing them on yourself. Because if you were able to, okay, do you know what? My stepdad dealt with me in a way. All right. Do I understand why he dealt with me like that? Maybe not. Do I see why he dealt with me like that? Maybe not. But as we've established, everybody's different. Mm. Everybody's different. The way they deal with things is different. Him dealing with you the way he dealt with you. First of all, you're the firstborn, right? Mm. Cool. Secondly, you were unruly. 
yeah? Thirdly, like, he's now bringing siblings behind you. So he has to set the president so that the rest of them don't no, stick by a line. Yeah, well, you understand? On, now, at the same time, you have that responsibility of self because you have to, again, impart that discipline, that knowledge to the rest of the ones coming behind you. You can't be getting expelled 27 times and tell your, kid, you tell your brothers and sisters, listen, be good in school. It's, there's, there's a contradiction. However, that contradiction is smoothed over when you yourself set a president that, look, do you know what? I did get suspended how many times, but look, that is right. Cool, dad, do you know what? Very rare. I've taken from your, your, your teachings, your beatings. I understood the reason behind them. And this is how I'm going to incorporate that into my new life going forward. This is how I'm going to raise my kids. The ones behind me, I'll help you explain to them why certain beatings took place or might take place. I will help you to bring the rest of these. But like I said, that's not something you're ready to do. So the issues you're experiencing now with men is self-inflicted. Anyway. <laughs> Yummy. I have to, She's mm. sipping. No, I it's mean, a lot to swallow no, up just... don't get me wrong. See, part I... one of his conversation was <laughs> very incorrect, but part two, how you ended it, was very correct. Mm. Like, I do do that with my siblings, and I speak to them a lot. I speak to them a lot, and just say, in order to avoid issues with parents, just, you know what I mean? Like, talk to them or whatever. But I hear where you're going with it, but your analogy was 50 50, you know? Like, it's all good. But not all females are like that. Like not all females, not and not all men. Are I didn't trash. say all, but then, but, all. but, 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 the but, but, but you also have to say it's some guy selfish destruct as well. Definitely, I should, you know what? To be fair, I should have said people. Yeah, because guys self destruct because guys then when they have a good woman that is there treating you, ready to take care of you, and da 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 da. And if, what annoys me is nine out of ten, the guy loves the girl. You know, they absolutely love the girl. Love and they, or have love for. Ooh. Love or have love for. Either either. either. One is different to the other. All right, they would be in love. Are you sure? Yeah, and they won't deny. They won't realize they love them until the girl's gone. Yeah. You want to tell? You want to tell her on the same? We're we're talking about self infliction. We're talking yeah. about self infliction. Self infliction. You want to tell me, guys, guys, guys? You know what? I would just I would just come in there. I've been doing what I'm here for. You know. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very simple thing. You defend that. You know, this. Remember one thing. Remember one. Let's not get it twisted. Our upbringings are different. Yeah. Very. Uh, we can't, you know what? Thing. We cannot deny that. The way I was raised is different to the way my brother was raised, even though there will be similarities. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it comes down to you as an individual. Yeah. When an opportunity presents itself to you, you could even say, you know what? I'm not used to this. Yeah. So because of that, it's not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could say, you know what? Let me even try this thing. Yeah. I did. You're welcome. Let me try this thing. You understand? Then when you try this thing, you realize actually it's not it, bad. It, it's all right. I come from only just trying this thing now. Yeah. Then you realize you have been blocking yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, your and this is why I always say to people, yeah, Auntie Ronks will tell you because I, I try and drill it in, your, in her ears is go out with somebody that's not in your comfort zone go out with somebody that's not your type because the person who might not be your type the person who might be completely <laughs> opposite to you might end up being the one for you mm. so i am here yeah. that's it i am here she knows yeah, it. It, so it it's the truth you know it's the truth i am so we were saying <laughs> yeah i mean i think what frank and Edo is saying is true you know um for me like growing up and seeing my mom yeah you know, she's had two jobs, three jobs. She's juggle free at once. She, you know, always putting food on the table, always, you know. She's gra gra gra. She's always shouting, you know, when it's problem is stress, stress, stress. So I'm used to that. You understand? And sometimes, like obviously in relationships and that, you know, I look for those things. A woman who's who has ruggedity. Like you know, I'm with him. 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 Just, just for I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I'm making sense. No, it's like because trust me, yeah. You can, we can, we can build an empire, yeah, and become billionaires, and the next week you know we're bankrupt or we anything can happen. You understand? So you need a woman that can just stand there, you know, with ruggedness and say, look. Same way we build, we can build again. Hey, you understand? Yeah. The power in the... No, 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 no. Not in times of challenges, you're crumbling, you're yeah. this. My mom never crumbled. Mm. You understand? Even if they say you're evicted tomorrow, she never crumbled. Mm. She's always calm. Mm. 
She's like, I trust my God, let's castle. You understand? That's, 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 that's the mentality she has, and that's what I grew up with. But again, so it's down to the individual. It's down to the yeah. because certain people that your mom grew up with, they're not like that. They're not like that. Yeah, it's true. What Ada said, they're not like that. And obviously, even with me, like being involved with, like a woman, it's like I had to learn character development. You understand? Mm-hmm. I noticed certain traits that my mom has. As soon as there's like you know that it might be a small little oh why do you move the cup here but i said and then it would blow up to something like happened three weeks ago yeah. you get me <laughs> you, you understand and i find that that happened in relationship as well so i'm thinking hang on my mom's like this i'm like this i'm like so i'm like right i have certain traits so i had to unlearn things and learn new things so mm. I, I was i need to be i need to adapt i needed to be bendable i need to be flexible to change and have character development so yeah I just wanted to quickly come in there. Sorry, I know I'm talking quite a bit. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's <laughs> one, thing that, one thing I wanted to say is that a lot of our generation, they are still harboring some pains. Yes. From, yeah. the, from, Definitely. The, from, Definitely. The, from what yeah. they experience, from their parents growing up. And I'm sorry to say this, there comes a time when you just need to sit down and realize that unfortunately, some of the closure you are expecting not is not going to come. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to come. Why? Because of the culture, uh, culture yeah. clash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that particular culture, they are not ready to back down. Yeah, so because of that, you need for your own sanity, for your own progression moving forward, you need to make peace, peace with, with yourself. Yeah. So if you're still yeah. waiting for them that one day yeah. something yeah. is going you to change it. them, you will just have high blood make pressure. Make peace yeah. with yeah. yourself. Oh, no. Because you can't change people, but you can change yourself. Yeah, you That's know, it. Yeah. I'll, 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 oh. Sorry, sorry. I'll yeah, no, kind I'm, of I'm not, yeah. take his point there. And just in regards to like police and stuff like discipline. It is discipline at the end of the day. It boils back down to discipline at the end mm. of the day. But my interactions with police as an adolescent, as a teenager, as a youth, essentially shaped me in how I dealt with them years down the line. What I had to do was, in my own quiet moment, in my own solitude, take stock of, okay, cool, these pussy holes are on, man, yeah? But I keep losing. Even though I haven't done nothing, I'm losing to these guys. What is it that I'm doing wrong? Forget what they're doing because they've got the power. They're onto man. It's just like parents. You know that your parents, yeah. once they decide, they decide that's it. Some people can't even talk to their parents. Do you feel me? I wasn't able to talk to my mum. Like I said, it's my sister that taught me how to talk to my mum. My sister would just tell her rowdy and I'll be standing there like, oh. <laughs> if that was me, I would that stick, go, go, gadget stick, I would have received something. But you get me? So again, now just kind of directly back to where I was going is that you deal with the police in a certain way, in a certain way, in a certain way. Me too. I had to take back, take stock of what I was doing that was making me so vulnerable. Mm, yeah. mm-hmm. Cool. All right, cool. Now my car's got insurance. When they stop my car, all right, yeah, but I got insurance. All right, what was your license? Shit, I got a license. That's another problem. Yeah. So now they're now attacking me on that problem. I'm arguing that. Yeah, but I got insurance. Da, 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 da. Cool. So when I started, like I said, taking stock of who I was and yeah. what I was doing to allow myself to continually keep getting into these situations, to continually dating these type of women, continually having these sort of issues with relationships, mm. you start, you, like once you do that stock check, once you G check yourself, you're able to know, okay, do you know what? When it comes to the police, just don't argue with them. Huh. If you're gonna say what you're saying, say it one time, be precise and to the point, and that's it. And let them do what they did. Mm. Again, with women. Look, do you know what? Some women just ain't good for men. Stop chasing those type of women. And half the time... And the same with females. Some guys are not good for men. Yeah, talk half, the time, leave. half the time, you'll be chasing a girl. Oh. And she's exhibiting all those same things that you know you should be running the opposite Side. way. Red flags, you understand? red flags. All the red flags. So, you, but because you want that woman... But cool, do you know what? I just say, all right, do you know what? Well, is, she, is she not? Do you know what? Let me take the L. Let me push her to one side and let me f- focus elsewhere. But then, for again, like I said, I started focusing on me mm-hmm. yeah. and realizing what am I actually like? Do you know what I mean? How do I express myself to these people? Like how do, like I said, with the police, it was easier to kind of address that. Get a license, get insurance, <laughs> stop selling drugs, stop rolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, stop rolling with yeah, certain yeah, man. Yeah, like, lower yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, there's things that's gonna come regardless, but yeah. I 
can limit my problems. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I can limit the sort of interaction I'm having with them. So when they pull me over, yeah, boom. I don't even talk. Here's my license. Check my insurance. Yeah. You all good? Yep. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. It's when <laughs> you get the odd one, like we know, that will try and draw you out. That will, mm. But because you know you, you know, like, I've got insurance and, and, and license. I'm good. You, you should really let me go. I'm not going to argue. I know you're just chatting to wind me up. So I'm not gonna argue. Yeah. Same thing with girls, same thing like relationships, like even friends, man them. You know that certain man them are draw outs. And mm. you get into conflict with them, get into conflict and get into conflict with them. But you can just like ah oh. if you know yourself, you know that alright, you know what? That situation ain't good for me. Let me step away from it. You get me? Mm. And then you know. Bye, Come guys. on. Guys, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> <Eight o'clock. laughs> when did oh. eight o'clock read? You say part three. <laughs> Be a, I don't think I have the heart for this anymore. Uh, why? 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 No, I don't feel attacked. No, I feel not attacked, at all. but I don't feel attacked at all. Um, because sensitive. a lot of, not even sensitive, but I just feel like at one point I feel like I'm just going to start breaking out personal issues. <laughs> I know you have to. I start talking about myself, and I really don't want to do that. Um, but no, no, no. Frank had a lot of points there, but one thing I did really want to touch on is you were talking about. Oh, you know, you notice that a lot of the women that you date mimic your parent and mimic your mum. And they were strong. Now that's something that a lot of like guys that I've dated have said that you're such a strong woman. And at one point, I had to flip it and be like, "But wait, what is wrong with being a strong woman?" Let me answer that. So let me just get that out of your head now. For me, I don't know. I believe my brothers will agree with me here. Yeah, it's not about you being strong. Mm. That's not the issue. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. Really and truly, most men want a woman that's strong. Because they don't want you crying at every drama. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> they don't want you moaning yeah. at every situation. No, so you want a strong woman. It, no, but they said it in a negative view. As in, like, they almost want me to be... Aggressive. No, they're not aggressive. No, that's well, how no, they've no, seen no. you. No, no. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's right, how they've so they seen you. Is... No, no and no. So when they said I'm strong, it's almost in, like, they want me to be weak. Yeah. No. Because I have a voice. Let me, and that's co- let me correct like, that for you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's not that they want you to be weak. Mm-hmm. It's the easiest way for me to say this is yeah, everybody play your position. That's what it is. Let a man be a man. What? Okay. Pause, slow down. No, what? Slow it's down. true though. Slow no, it's down. true though. Hey, it's true though. No, 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 it's true though. It's true though. Are you ready for that? No, no, it's true though. It's true though. I'm ready. It's true though. No, 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 no. I'm going to say again.